We are going to talk today about a couple, Zachariah and his wife Elizabeth. Zachariah and his wife, they were good people and they had always obeyed the word of God. But the one thing they did not have, their biggest sorrow, was that they had no children. They were growing old and had given up all hope of having a family. Now Zechariah was a priest in Judea, a very important job, and Elizabeth also came from a family that had a lot of priests. So, so they were very, at that time, very important people, but still their prayers to God for a child had not been answered. Now there came a time when Zechariah was working at the temple in Jerusalem and he was chosen by Lot to burn the incense in the sanctuary. Now being chosen by Lot means can mean that you know you just put everybody's name in a hat and somebody's is pulled out. He won. They pulled the short he pulled the short straw or they pulled his name out of the hat. So he got to go into the sanctuary to burn the incense. And this too was a, a big honor, something that just not everybody got to do. So he was very, very um, pleased and humbled. And as he stood there watching the smoke rise from the incense off the altar, he saw an angel standing before him. He was frightened and he fell backwards. But the angel spoke to him gently. I am Gabriel, he said. I have come from the Lord to bring you good news. Your prayers shall be answered, and your wife will give birth to a son. His name shall be John. He will be a great joy to you both and will bring much happiness and peace to the world. He will be great in the eyes of the Lord, and through him many people will turn to God. Now, Remember that Zechariah and Elizabeth had been praying for most of their married lives to have a child. And they probably wondered, why has our prayer not been answered? But this is one thing that we have to remember, that it is good and you should pray for things that you want, things that you need. But we also have to understand the very difficult part that... God will answer our prayers at the right time and in the right way. We may have to wait as Zechariah and Elizabeth did. But we can know that when we send our prayers to God, He understands what we are wanting and needing, but He alone knows what we truly need. So now we will have a prayer. Lord God, for the gift of children and the love of parents, we thank you. Make us a close, loving family. Amen. And you're going to have your ornament today. It's a praying hands that you can color and then you can put that on your tree.